Thank you all for another episode of His Wife, Her Husband. I am Shamika, his wife. And I am Patrick, her husband. Our purpose is to help you build and sustain your marriage from a biblical perspective. Take it away, Shamika. Our topic for this episode is about taking care of your marriage. I thought we just did that. That is how to safeguard your marriage. This one is how to take care of it. Okay. Now, mind you, the safeguarding is a way to take care of it. But this is like specifically what you need to do to take care of your, like giving it that intentional attention is what I'm saying. Those are the, the other things that we did was those were ways to safeguard it, to protect it. Which is take care, right? I guess it could be. Well, anyway, part two then, because uh, I, I wrote something down. Maybe the topic I could have I could have been a little bit more creative, and maybe I may come up with something during this episode. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> what I am <laughs> asking you to do is to see the value in your marriage. Take care of your marriage. Take care of it. Mm -hmm. When you when you when you take care of something. You deem it valuable. You nurture and you, it. You nurture it. You give it nourishment. Mm -hmm. You protect it. You do whatever needs to be done to make sure and ensure that you preserve it. Mm -hmm. You value it. Mm -hmm. And what, it, what like, it, when you value something, it has a different, it has a greater worth than it to anyone else. Other people may not see its value or its worth. Why? Because it's not theirs. Mm -hmm. And they don't have any memory or experience or event or an emotion attached to it. But when it comes to your marriage, I'm asking you to go back to see the value. Remember why you said yes to your spouse. Remember how you felt. Wait, wait, Remember more time what you experienced. Go ahead. Oh God! Remember what you experienced when you were uh, engaged. You don't know how to have a conversation. I don't. Engaged, <laughs> and when you first got married, like it was like, oh, like like when they came, they had their own theme music. Dun 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 dun. I mean, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I just came up with it. Dun dun. Okay. Anyway, you just had a theme song. Or Fred is dead. <laughs> That's the episode. That's what I said. I don't. I never knew the words. Go ahead. Never knew the words, Patrick. Well, my point is, you have this. You have this theme song. You have this. The, the, you have some affection okay, or affinity on. attached to you it. You said. You said go back to. Go back to the reason why. You said yes. You said yes to your spouse. Okay, keep mm -hmm. going. And I'm. I, I I am aware that a lot of times in marriages, people say yes for because uh, of financial status or for fame or whatever the case may be. Like we have all different reasons, but this is the thing that you need to revisit because at the end of the day, usually with with most marriages, it is because this person. Uh, was th this was the completion of you? Like they added on to you. They were the the extra one hundred to your one hundred. And and the truth of the matter is, they may have found you at a at a eighty five, but they made you feel like that it was gonna be easy to get that other fifteen. So when you're saying take care of your marriage, we're we're, we're talking to like what audience are we addressing when you came when you when you thought of the topic? Mm -hmm. What type of audience was it? Someone who, who, because you, because you, the statement was, remember why you said yes. Mm -hmm. Is that is is the audience someone who has fallen away mm -hmm. and they're struggling in the marriage, or we are, or it's the couple that's they're good, and we're saying, remember why you said yes. To make sh so remembering why you said yes to your spouse to marry them, remember that and safeguard that so that you can hold on to that. Or, like, is that am I making myself clear? Mm -mm. But I will, she said, uh uh, <laughs> uh, -uh you, you, you did. I know. like, I know, like, in seeing the value, like, it's for the person that may be going through in their marriage and maybe they just lost sight of what was valuable to them, mm -hmm. and so I'm asking you to go back. And to reevaluate the worth, the value that you and your spouse 
have in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Then again, you may be at a place, this video, this uh, episode may find you where you all are in a good place. But then you never just stop to consider that, hey, mm -hmm. my marriage has value. Mm -hmm. it, don't, it, it doesn't have value just to ooh, me ooh. And, and my mm -hmm. spouse, gotcha. but it has, it's bringing value to generations. It's bringing value to our children. It's bringing value to our family, our community. And ultimately, it's giving, it's, it has great value in giving glory to, 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 the, to the Lord God. So one could be, yes, we're saying Take care of your marriage. In other words, uh, what is it called? Preventive care. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a good place and and if you're in a good place, we want you to begin to use preventive care so you w so the marriage won't get ill or the marriage won't get sick. So remember, remember the good things about the, like, you know, I said why, because, whatever that is, remember that. And safeguard that. And what did you do? Because if you're 10, 15 years into it, like what did I do then that made marriage fun, that made marriage lovely, Enjoyable. that made marriage. So we're in a good space. Like we're not having problems. Okay, cool. How do I, how do I take pre, what did I say? Pre-care? It's not pre Preventive care to make sure we don't get into that particular thing. Mm -hmm. Then for those of you who are, like we're in a, like we're not on the verge of divorce, but we we are going through some rough patches right now. You know what I'm saying? You okay? Go back to the reason why you said yes, and begin to. If you believe your marriage is in need of coaching, Shamika and I are certified marriage and life coaches. Just log into our website www.hiswifeherhusband.net to book your discovery call. Wives, if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, put his wife in the notes section. Husbands, if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, put her husband in the notes section. Husbands and wives, if you are looking for marriage coaching as a couple, put his wife, her husband in the notes section. Remember, our purpose is to help you build and sustain your marriage from a biblical perspective. So go on over to www.hiswife.com herhusband.net to schedule your discovery call today. Implement the things you used to do to get the care back. So, you know, if, if you, you start missing your, like I start, I had to go to the dentist and get work done on my mouth. And so there are things I have to do now to get it back. Then uh, there are also some things that I have to do so it won't get worse. You know, so whatever that thing is, now you've gone through the surgery, boom, 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 boom. Hey, let's, now let's start doing some stuff so we can get you back on track to make sure uh, that you don't go through this again. It's called recovery. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's recovery work. And there are degrees. I'm pretty sure that there may be a nurse or a doctor that's listening. And so, you know, they can attest or vouch that there are different forms of care. Sometimes there is immediate care, there is intensive care, there is wound care, like it's hmm. different types of hmm. specialty cares that may be needed uh, physically. And so that thing applies even in relationship. You may be, you know, you may find this word coming to you where you may need some intensive care. And you may find it where this is urgent care. This like, this need to be addressed right now. Uh, the, 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 the main thing is, is that you are to give uh, in uh, specific and intentional attention to making sure that you nourish and nurture well. You give detailed uh, affection and attention to this area, to, mm -hmm. to your marriage. And so I did write down, when you see in the value of it, you, when you see the value of something, that means that it is now a treasure. And where you treasure something, you protect it. Mm -hmm. You do your part to make sure you preserve it. Why? So it can be passed down to maybe to the to to your uh, let's say if it's a ring, I'm thinking about gold or like an actual gold treasure. But you want to make sure that you preserve it and protect it so that it can be passed down to your son or your daughter that you know will care well and continue to preserve and protect it, and they see it as the treasure. So don't think that. Your marriage is not a treasure because that legacy of loving uh, the Lord and loving your spouse 
your children are witnessing that. And, and that's mm-hmm. how we continue to preserve mm-hmm. the, the, the faith fabric of, uh, of the faith of what God has intended and planned for the institution of marriage to do, which is to minister and to serve to the home as well as to the community at large, to the church. Mm-hmm. It's a visible sign that love works, that serving works. The sacrifice, it works. It pays out and it pays off. It it really does. So just remember uh, remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I think that would be a, a nice, I think that's a great assessment, mm-hmm. like to, to do the assessment of your marriage. Mm-hmm. Where is your marriage? Mm-hmm. Is your marriage in the ER? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it in... Um, intensive care intensive care like Mm -hmm. where do you find your marriage and wherever you find your marriage that's the type because it is if it's a if you're in a burn unit Mm -hmm. then that takes a different type of care to to um bring about to to bring back the healing and bring back the color and the, the 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 way it looks you know what i'm saying that that's a different type of care if it's an er that's a different type of care if it's you know, after you've gotten out and now you're doing, uh, what's the thing when you you lose mobility? Therapy. Therapy. Like, that's a different. So, I think the great thing would be to assess where your marriage is. Mm-hmm. And then begin to make, and I'm repeating myself, but begin to make the necessary uh, adjustments so that you can have the best possibility for healing of your marriage. Mm-hmm. And so the thing that come to my mind is going back to what we say to help you build and sustain. And one of those ways to build is to assess where you are and wherever you are, guess what? We, we begin to, 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 to build from there uh, and to be able to, to experience the wholeness, to sustain. That's the therapy. That means you continue to do the work that needs to be done, that mm. you can continue to have this. To, it's, this is not a one-time event, mm-hmm. me doing this. Like, this is something that I want to do over and over. Mm-hmm. And guess what? It's my pleasure to do this mm-hmm. over and over again. Like, I don't get tired mm-hmm. of showing up for the Lord. I don't get tired of showing up for you. And I know that when I do this to you, then guess what? I'm seeing about me. That's where we come in at. Mm-hmm. As, as marriage coaches, mm-hmm. you've already gone through the intensive care. That's your counselor. I mean, this event just happened. It, it's, it's, it's hurt our marriage I think it's we're in trouble. Us to the court, yeah. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, I need you need counseling. Then finally, once you get out of the intensive care, once you get out of you know IC, it's the same thing. ICU, mm-hmm. once you get out out of the, you go to the room. The recovery. Now the recovery room. Oh, recovery. Now you got to go through the therapy to to get back to get your muscle working back together again. That's where coaches come in, and then that's where we come in to help guide you or to give you. Uh, a, a list of to do's to do uh, to help you win in the marriage to moving forward. To be and to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. to be and to do. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's yep. good. It's to be and to do. And again, the coach is only here. We are only here to encourage you to bring out what's already in you. Mm-hmm. We are not putting something there. This is not something that, you know, some hocus pocus stuff. <laughs> this is stuff that you are already equipped to do because if you say it, I do, then guess what? It has to get done. Yeah. It did not say, um, let me see, let me see, uh, when we say our marriage values, say, I do. That means I do the work. Like, that yeah. do is, a, is an action word. Mm-hmm. You know, now, because I am I'm your bride, I got one of the things that I always say is that I'm Patrick's forever bride and I am his wife. And so I, I am his bride and I am his wife. And that means that, that I have to do the work of being and doing, of grabbing his attention, holding his attention, making sure that I'm doing the things that will be, uh, be that he, that's pleasing to him. Mm-hmm. Amen. And then by the same token, also doing that, uh, doing whatever needs to be done as far as making sure I'm constantly developing into the woman that God created me to be. Because that's really what uh, a real husband is attracted to, a godly or the godly wife. Even if he not there, he still want a godly wife. <laughs> I'm telling <Okay>. you. <laughs> mm-hmm. So so here's the thing about 
Cause, cause you mentioned caring for your marriage. Let me. Do you have? Do you have something else? I have two more things, but not not pertaining to, to caring for your marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Cause well, I, I'll go ahead and say mine. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things I think is beneficial for caring for your marriage is one caring for yourself. Do you already have it on there? No. Okay, caring for yourself because. If I'm strong enough, if I am mentally strong enough, if I am spiritually strong enough, if I'm emotionally strong enough, then it allows me to be able to have the strength to take care of you. Uh, my dad, uh, my mom had multiple sclerosis, and my, my dad, I don't think he did a good job of taking care of himself to the point that he, that he died before my mom. Mm -hmm. Now, my mom needed all of the care. And so the caregiver, a lot of times the caregiver finds themselves so exhausted and stressed out, about, stressed out about taking care of the other person that they don't take the time to care for themselves. So, again, to reiterate, if you really want to take care of your marriage, you cannot neglect taking care of yourself. I am not talking about having... Whatever body you think you're supposed to have, a P90X body. I don't know. Does it still say P90X? I'm not sure. I'm not talking about I'm saying, but I do need to find myself walking two miles a day. Even exercise. if you're walking, yeah. exercising, if you're walking in place for 30 minutes, that needs to be done. I do need to find myself drinking plenty of water, Patrick. I do need to find myself getting plenty of rest. I do need to find myself taking uh uh, 15 to 30 minutes of mental rest just to not have everything like I do need to find myself eating an apple a day keeps the keeps the doctor away and and anyway I, I, I like those things proper portion take care of yeah proper portion vitamins. those things are just we're not talking about going to the gym and like uh like well, I don't know whatever this is but we, we're just saying taking care of your spiritual getting my getting in my word and getting in prayer before God regularly so that I can have the fortitude to care for the marriage uh, because there, there are going to be ebbs and flows. That is called life. It's going to happen. Whether you, are, <laughs> whether you are in the Lord or out of the Lord. Time and chance happen to us all. To all. Yeah. So since it's, gonna, since it's going to happen, I need to take care of myself. I always talk about um, in, in Matthew 22 when it talks about Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Well, we f we keep forgetting the part myself. So I can love w once I really like really learn get the spiritual love with God. It's gonna help me love myself, so that I can properly love my neighbor, or in this case, my spouse, God, myself, my spouse. If you if you work it that way, I think it'll. I just believe it'll work itself out it's over time. It's proper order and proper flow. Right. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for bringing that up. That is so true. And I think that even you know, again, going back to we living in a in a in a society where self care has been uh, like really demonized uh, by the church. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say demonized by the church, but I was gonna say that it's 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 like uh, self care is more so picture this like getting your nails done getting your hair done you know shopping therapy i'm thinking about as far as women i'm not sure what men do but uh something a uh, self-care true self-care like the i'll say the the uh, basic self-care is proper rest mm. it's eating well it's getting the exercise like that's really true self-care mm -hmm. i mean just basic things it's like you know, not putting things in your body that will harm it. That's good. That's true self-care. Like if all the malls were burned down, if Sheen stopped taking orders, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, if there were no more restaurants, yeah. no more restaurants to visit for you to treat yourself to, to indulge in, mm -hmm. then w the, the, then the self-care then go out? Of, go out? Mm. No. This is like just making sure you brush your teeth at night, mm. making sure you cleanse and shampoo your hair, making sure that you do the healthy things mm. to bring healing to your body. And there's something about healing. Once healing comes, guess what? Wholeness comes. Mm. Before you know it, you'll be a complete person. 
you'll be full and complete. Yeah. And you won't need a whole lot of outward things to validate or to 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 give you this false sense of security of you being uh, a 10, I guess. I don't know. I just threw something mm -hmm. out there. But like a 10 is like, ooh, you're 100. But yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny Patrick but you know I, I'm so that, that is so true so then the other thing is it okay for me to go or, or we need to no, stop okay so then uh, another uh, way that you can take care of your marriage is by making daily deposits of creativity of showing love kindness and respect so in my mind this is how I was seeing it when I was writing the topics down mm -hmm. I mean writing the points down so we have taken care of your marriage. Then I want, I was thinking treasure, talent, and time. You know, you will invest these things mm -hmm. to caring for mm -hmm. your marriage. The treasure, because I treasure it. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I will invest my talents to it. So now what I may be good at, for example, I'm good at baking. So then I should be baking maybe Patrick favorite dish or I'm good at encouraging I should be Sunday. encouraging him right mm. so it's these things that you want to make sure that you bring your best self into the marriage don't try to be Sally next door what he do want you to be is his wife in the house like can you just can you just show up your the best version of yourself here I'm also good at cleaning Guess what? It's not always that I enjoy doing it, even though it's therapy for me. But I will say that this is how I can best serve my home is by making sure that it is decent, that it's decent and in order. This is a service. This is something that I'm naturally good at that I can do to bring uh, bring bring or, or to give care to 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 our marriage. So when you said treasure, I. I in my mind, I'm thinking the way we talk in, I think in church, we're talking about your, your time, your talent, and your treasure. Mm -hmm. In other words, it, when you say it, invest, I was thinking you're thinking finances. Mm -hmm. Like it's okay to invest your your treasure or your money into your marriage. Uh, it's okay to invest your time into your marriage. It's okay to in invest your talent, like whatever you're good at doing, invest it into your marriage. Um, uh, I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna be petty. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be petty right quick. And so you said. So in a way, yeah. Am I? Yeah. So here, here's here's the advice I always give women. I don't know if there's advice like that for me. Maybe it's videos. Ladies, type it in the thing. But it was. We always say. I, I always say. Make sure you do all the things that the other woman would do, w within reason. You know what I'm saying? But. You want to be the wife and the side boo. You, wives, be his wife and his side boo at the same time. And then, therefore, he unless he just, whatever, he didn't have any reason to look for anything. Now, you can't, at the end of the day, he has to make that decision. We understand that. But, but, we're, but do all that you can to make sure you cover. Again, y'all been rocking with us for a minute. You know, I always talk about when when I used to shoot dice and somebody tried to do a side bet, I'm covering my own side bet. Like, my eight is my point, but I'll, I'll, I'll ten or four before I seven, eleven, two. But, like, like I'm going to do my own thing on the side. I'm covering the side bet. So cover your side bets, whatever that is that your husband likes. If sometimes he just want to sit and just watch the game, and the side boo might just sit and watch the Dallas Cowboys. Like do that, you know. Somebody was like, "Ain't nobody watching that." But like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, so just, I think that's part of the being time. present. Just yeah, be just being present. present sometimes. Like you don't always have to, you know, fix it. And I and I hope that you caught when I was sharing about being a bride and a wife. A bride is just, oh my goodness, she just adds life to him, and and she's not so busy with the the duties, right, mm. of being a wife. She just 
his friend. She's just a person to be enjoyed. And so going back to what you said, sometimes it's just sit and watch the game, even though the house is a mess. Or because things mm -hmm. are not like, like you would want them to be, mm -hmm. but the fact that he is he or she is there, that helps you to just enjoy one another. How far you go? How far mm -hmm. you go? Then here's the here's for the guys. I thought it was something for the guys to be the other guy. Don't try to fix it every time. S sometimes she just want to talk, and she don't want a solution. She want to tell you about why Keisha took a stapler, and she don't understand, and, and she want to go off and boom, 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 and she she ought to send an email to HR. Like, don't fix it. That's being the other guy because the other guy who's trying to get in. He's just listening. For He's real? emotionally wow. and mentally present. She did that. Mm. Yep. Okay. How you feel? Like, and and he's not. <laughs> so for guys, that's being the other guy. Go ahead. I like uh, that, that, that. That's true. A lot of times we do have a tendency to 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 lean towards what the uh, what the uh, the, wo woman. the woman should do, uh. but we but we never ever. We very rarely address I've never done what the man should do. Right. And that's so true because uh, where the enemy uses um, a woman to <clears throat> capture the man's attention with his eyes, mm -hmm. know that, as you always say, conversation rules the nation. Right. And so know that if she has leaned her ear in nine times out of ten, mm. you know, th this is where – they get a hold of them emotions, and mm -hmm. it be emotional ties, and it's like, mm -hmm. we never had sex. We never did this, but it's like, well, then how you looking, though? Like, mm -hmm. you glow too much. Mm -hmm. when Every time you say his name. Yeah. And me and Daryl, uh, or me and Kenny, or me and Keith. Oh, he's like, like yeah. whoa, whoa, time yeah. out, player. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got another one for the mm -hmm. men. Uh, this one was a hard one. Maybe I should say that. This one was a difficult <laughs> one. <laughs> Hilarious. This real talk. Mm-hmm. Because my wife say this, and I, she's, anyway. <laughs> Hold them without warning some. Yeah. I don't know either, player. But for some reason, that's big. And and that's what, you know what I'm saying, uh, another, the other, like, no, no, what I'm saying, like, her, her, her work husband, he would probably just hold her hand. Of course, we know he wants some, but at that point, she thinking he doesn't want anything, or he's just there, or it's a be it'll be okay, Keisha, it'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? And he's just and so for us as husbands, we get home, and we just embrace them, and not want anything, and and then eventually still. But but See, the point that, is, I was giving her a say no, and, and I'm showing you that I just want to. Oh, you had a you, you had a yeah, bad day. I want to be and I had present. A bad day and, and, I just, uh, <laughs> and so we got to like, yeah, but all you got to do is just, you know, hit Keisha in the mouth a couple of times. You know Mercy, I don't violence know. is not. not the key. No, it's not. But no, but yeah, but but uh, I love I I like how you yeah you said that very well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I forgot. Was, okay, but then the other thing too. This is my last point after this. Going back to when you said investing time. Uh, you said that you didn't. I, I forget. Anyway, mm -hmm. we said invest in time. Gotcha. And so that invest in time means to slow down and enjoy each other. Mm. Like I know that it is a lot of uh, like we have a lot of ambitions and goals, things we want to accomplish mm. as a couple. Um, however, do not let the busyness and the rush of life and the day rob you from that quality time mm. and and that's that I, I would like to end there that that's the other type of care that is very needed is quality care mm. that's good quality like that. care so you may not that's have good. the finances to go out on this big extravagant date yeah but it's something about sharing a milkshake on a winter's night, <laughs> walking dope. down mm -hmm. the river walk, mm -hmm. and you're freezing, <laughs> and you all are holding each other, mm -hmm. and and it is that that's a memory that will go into your uh, your your marriage bank. Mm -hmm. That's that deposit that you make. That's good. That I mean, when the cares of life come at you, yeah. Then guess what? You can withdraw, because guess what? I remember when we leaned in. Yeah. So don't. Fail to give your marriage the quality care that it so need that is needed, 
And, beca- and, you know, I'm thinking about the song is that let all acquaintance be forgotten. I think that's how, you know, the, the, the New Year's song. But it's like let all that stuff, whatever you neglected to do in 2023, it's a new day. Mm-hmm. And I want you to wake up every single day in 2024 seeing it as a new start, a fresh start, to serve God fresh, to serve your spouse fresh, and just enjoy each other. Slow down and smell the roses. Slow down to just take a look at the wildflowers, the lilies. Stop and consider. And then that way, guess what? These worries and cares that try to trouble our soul, like you'll be so content and so at peace with your spouse uh, because you're so in love and you're so contented that it's not saying that you don't recognize that they are attractive or look good, Mm -hmm. but we done made so many deposits, and my intention is here. I would not be swayed by whatever it is you're trying to bring my way. Correct. So each and every day I'm waking up knowing that this is another opportunity Mm -hmm. for me to serve my spouse in a better way. It's another day for me to glorify God in my role as a woman, as a wife, uh, if you're a man, as a man or a husband, a father, a mother, like I want to leave this place good. Mm-hmm. I want to experience the best. And so the way how how we do that is by investing the time, putting the time in, taking the, the time, time out to put, to put the, the time, time in. in. Yeah. Even if it's sharing a milkshake, I'm telling yeah. y'all, it makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. So if you find value in the video today, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, uh, make sure you comment, uh, share, and hit the bell notification so when we drop new videos, uh, you'll be the first one to get those. Uh, We thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Take care. Bye.